941, and we're here with another round of Hollywood headlines with our friends at TMZ. That's TM right. Zizzle. TM Zizzle. That's Zizzle. what we're going to go yeah. with now. <laughs> <laughs> well, joining us once again this morning is Michael Babcock. Michael, good to see you. Look at that big Look smile. Look at Michael, always with the good smile. Morning. I, like the TM Zizzle. I like that. That's, the, that's the, by far the best intro I've ever had. So. TM Zizzle. <laughs> all right. You got to coin that one. Yeah, I like you know, it. Don't let anybody steal that from me, Michael. All right. <laughs> hey, Michael. All right. Let's uh, let's just jump right into it. Of course, many yeah. of us saw the alerts about Diddy and, and the grand jury. Uh, is it possible that the U.S. Justice Department could be seeking an indictment given this news? What do mm. we know? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's certainly what it seems like. So there is a good reason to suspect that uh, that in the uh, Southern District of New York, that the Department of Justice is going forward with a grand jury. And, and essentially what that would mean is they would it would indicate that they have you know, moving from one phase of the investigation, which is, you know, them, you know, collecting information, right, talking to witnesses to the point where they could actually, uh, you know, before a grand jury, they could make their case with the hope of getting an indictment against Diddy. So if he thinks things have been, you know, bad, and obviously they've been terrible, especially since the Cassie video came to light. I mean, this could be getting even more serious for Diddy now. I mean, uh, you listen to the reports, you read the different reports. Uh, you know, um, there have been uh, investigators who have been reaching out to witnesses, people who might have filed lawsuits against Diddy in the past, to alleging everything from, you know, sexual assault to sex trafficking, that they could be called to testify in front of the grand jury. And that's one of the reasons that uh, there is a, a suspicion that the grand jury is being brought together. So we'll see what happens. It doesn't necessarily mean it's something that's going to be very quick, but it does indicate that they are ready to move on and that they are seeking an indictment here. And uh, really bad news for P. Diddy. Yeah. yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what comes out of this and what we hear yeah. on these grand jury stands. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, and you, you know, the saying goes that you know they didn't indict a ham sandwich uh, in front of a grand jury, so it's it's you know many times fairly easy to get an indictment. So yeah, all, all bad news for Diddy. Absolutely. Yeah, it also brings me to wonder too, given the raids and and videos that may have been discovered, if there's more evidence that we don't know about just yet that may have led to this. Um, yeah. I am sure, uh, you know, Homeland Security, they've been seemingly been very thorough with this and, and they've been tight lipped. They haven't said much about it. I, I'm, I'm positive there is more info um, and more, uh, you know, uh, more things that we just don't know about yet. And, you know, yeah. maybe we never will. Maybe yeah. we will, but we'll see. Exactly. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, let me yeah. get your thoughts on this next topic here. Mike Tyson trolling again, yeah. saying I'm back 100% <laughs> uh, after that airplane uh, medical uh, scare there. I want to talk to you about this, the question that we're all wondering, what does he have to prove by fighting uh, Paul? What, what is he trying to get out of this? I, I, I mean, maybe a lot of money. And that, and that's the only thing I can think of because I might, yeah, Mike Tyson doesn't have anything to prove. Uh, I, an absolutely fantastic career, one of the most impressive heavyweight boxers of all time. So, I don't think there's anything to prove. I think there's a lot of money here. The fight's going to be on Netflix and obviously, you know, 270 million subscribers or whatever it is they have right now. So a, a lot of money. Uh, a lot of people say, you know, maybe this is an indication the fight shouldn't happen. Mike's going to be 58 years old when he steps into that ring. Mm. And I, look, Jake Paul has not done, uh, you know, uh, even a, a, a percent of what Mike <laughs> did in boxing, but he's still 27 years old in his physical prime. And, uh, you know, Mike, obviously, he had the ulcer flare up on the plane. And uh, a, a lot of people are, are worried about him. As funny as that sounds to say, because it's Mike Tyson versus this former Disney kid, but uh, people are worried about Mike and yeah. some hoping that he doesn't even get in that ring. And I think yeah. it's 52 days from right now. Oh. Yeah. Well, just have to wait and see what he happens. He is going here. to fight. He is going to fight, though, by of the way. Of course and, he will. And this is not going to stop him. If anything's on the line, it's his ego at the end of the day. Yeah. All right, Michael. Yep. Always good to talk to you and chat with you.